Hey there and welcome to day five of 30 days of Lightroom. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to edit certain parts of your images using masking. This will allow you to, for instance, brighten a person's face while leaving the rest of the image alone. Hello and welcome to our series on 30 days of Lightroom where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom Classic. You can download and follow along with all of the sample images by following the link right down below. And today we're talking about masking. Now there are a lot of ways to create masks in Lightroom Classic. Basically a mask allows you to work on certain parts of your images and it's really the next step of creating great photos. So in today's video, we're gonna give you an overview. We're gonna show you all of the different types of masks in Lightroom Classic, and then we're gonna show you how to apply them to your photos. So we're picking up where we left off yesterday, where we edited this photograph going from the before and after. So here we're in our basic tab, and if you go right over here to the left side, you're gonna see an eyeball here. I'm just gonna click on this so we can see there's our before and the after of what we did yesterday. And this was literally just adjusting these sliders here to make sure that we have a great exposure with our image. So we just got our before and after. Don't forget about this auto button. You can simply click that. It's gonna give you a huge head start in adjusting your image. Now, as you can see, all of these changes affect the entire photograph, okay? We're not able to, to like dial in and say, hey, I just wanna edit my subject's face or just the background or just their clothing. That's where masking comes in. So here we're gonna see our editing tools. We have our cropping, removal, we have red eye, and then here we have our masking. So we're gonna go ahead and click on masking. Now, when I do have my masking, we have a few different ways to create masks. We're gonna go through everything. So we can select our subject, we can select a sky, we can select a background, and then we can select individual objects. You can use your brush tool, you can use a linear gradient, a radial gradient, or you can create a color or a light range. So let's go ahead and show you all of these things. So here we have our basic editing, we have our crop, we have removal, we have red eye, and then we have our masking. So let's click here on masking. Now we have a lot of different ways we can create masks in Lightroom, they're super powerful. So we can select our subject and basically if you click here, it's going to automatically find your subject and then you can edit just your subject. We can select our sky, we can select the background, which is just the inverse of the subject, okay? We can select specific objects, you can use your brush tool to create a mask, a linear gradient, a radial gradient, we have color ranges as well as light ranges. And then of course, we can actually just select individual people. If you have more than one person in your photograph, this is gonna work really, really well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with a very basic subject mask. So we're gonna say add a new mask, we're gonna click on a subject. Now when I click on this, my uh, interface is gonna change a little bit. So we're gonna click on subject, there we go. And we have this new masking dialogue. So we can see here's our masks. Okay, we can turn all of our masks visible or invisible right up here. We have the mask that we just created. This is the subject mask. You can see it says subject right there. Okay, I can turn this on or off by clicking on this eyeball here as well. And if we wanna create a new mask, we can do that by clicking on this plus icon right up here. Now, tomorrow we're gonna to go into advanced masking. We're gonna show you to how to add to masks. We're gonna show you how to subtract masks. We're gonna show you a lot more additional settings. But today we're gonna to get relatively basic. We're gonna show you everything you need to know about basic masking. Okay, so we have a mask one, and this is based on our subject because we clicked on subject to create this mask. Now, with this mask, you're gonna see I'm still in my masking. You've got a little icon right here that lets you know you're still in your masking. And then we have all of these different tools we can use. You can see all this background is gray here until I scroll down, there we go. And then it goes back into my basic editing. And once we see basic, this is going to start to affect my entire image. And here we can see the changes that I made yesterday. Okay, we already have those. But all of this with the light gray background, all of these different things we can work on, and this is going to affect just what is inside of the mask. So you can see there's a lot of possibilities here. There's a lot of editing capability. So for instance, I have my subject now selected. I have my overlay shown, so I can click that to turn it off and on. That's basically showing me what I'm actually selecting there. And if I wanted to go ahead and bring the shadow levels up, it's gonna do this just on my subject. How amazing is that? So I can bring my subject just lighter or darker in terms of their shadows. Okay, now what we're, we're gonna go ahead and do is show you a few different masks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new mask. We're gonna show you how a few of these work. So select subject, 
Select sky, there's no sky visible here, but select background basically works the opposite. It's gonna select the background. For instance, if you want to make your exposure a little bit darker on your background, it's gonna help your subject stand out a little bit more. So very simple adjustment, but we've selected the background and made it darker. Don't forget, at any time, you can click on this eyeball here to turn all your masks visible and invisible. So we have our subject. Maybe we'll just bring our exposure up just a tiny bit on our subject and our shadow levels up on our subject, just so we can see a little bit more of a dramatic before and after. Okay, let's just turn that visible and invisible there. Already we have a nice contrast between our subject and the background. We're gonna go ahead and create a new mask, okay? We've already done select subject, sky, there's no sky in here. We've done our background, uh, select people. There's only one person in this photograph, so it's the same thing as going to select subject. Next we have select objects. Now if I go to select objects, basically I can paint over the object I'd like to select. So if I wanna select just this beret or this fabric thing around my subject, you can see it's done a great job selecting that. And for instance, I could bring my contrast up or down on just this object around our subject. So basically anything you wanna select in your photograph, you can do that and then edit them. Let's go to create a new mask. We're gonna go down here to our brush. This actually allows me to paint with my brush. Maybe my subject's dress is just a little bit too bright. So what we're gonna do is simply paint here over top of my subject's dress. There we go, with the brush. Fantastic. And then I can go ahead and take my highlights. We're gonna bring those down. I would just make our whites. We're gonna bring those down as well. And we're gonna take our exposure down there as well. It's just gonna make that a little bit darker, drawing a little bit less attention to the dress down there. Again. I can go to this mask, which I painted with my brush, okay? I can make just that visible and invisible so we can see the before and after, or I can make all of the masks visible and invisible. There we go, so we can see there's a before and the after. Such a cool technique. Let's go ahead and create a new mask here. We're just gonna keep on going down the line. We're gonna go to a linear gradient, okay? Linear gradient, we're gonna click and drag down just like that and I'm gonna bring our exposure down just a tiny bit, making it darker in the corner of my image. We're gonna create a new mask here. We're gonna to go to a radial gradient. Let's click and drag here from the center out, just like that. And we're gonna make our exposure just a little bit brighter. This is just gonna be in our subject's face. Let's make sure to protect the highlights while we do that. So exposure a little bit brighter, but we're protecting the highlights at the same time. All right, so you can see I've already created quite a few different masks. And by doing this, we're able to edit our image even more. Let's go ahead and continue showing them how the rest of the masks work. So we're gonna go back to create a new mask. We're gonna go down to a color range. So let's go to the color range. In this case, I'm gonna click on this green color range right here in the background. There we go. You can actually click and drag to select a larger color range. And you can even refine your color range right over here by selecting more or less of those colors, okay? Let's see, go ahead and select that color there. That looks really good. And maybe here, we're gonna go ahead and just bring our saturation up and it's gonna do that. You can see just on the background and maybe I'm gonna bring my color temperature a little bit more green. It's gonna make it a little bit more green. So let's just turn that visible and invisible. We can see I did that just on the color range of our background. Now, you don't have to use all of these different masks. What I'm trying to do today is show you how to use all these different masks so you can get an idea of how they all work. And last, we're gonna to go to create a new mask and we're gonna go down to where it says a luminance range. And this will allow me to select a light range. So we're just gonna click here on this luminance range. So we're just gonna to go to this lighter area here. All right, and we're gonna see, I'm able to actually extend my luminance range if I want to, just make it include a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take my highlight levels and bring them down. It's just gonna allow me to protect my highlight levels even more. So I'm literally selecting the highlight levels and then we're bringing down the highlights in just those highlight levels. So I've done a lot of work that allows me to go ahead and refine different parts of my image. So let's go ahead right here to where it says masks at the very top. We're just gonna click on this eyeball. There's the before and the after, okay? We've already done a lot of work. Keep in mind that this was an edited photograph, but this is what we were able to get without any masks. And now in the after, we can see this is the result we were able to get using these masks. So we can go through all of these and turn them off and on. I can just turn this off and on. This is our subject mask here. There we go. Next, we're gonna move up. We're just going to these little eyeballs next to each mask. We're going to show our background where we made that a little bit darker. Okay, we're gonna to go to the collar around our subject. We're gonna to go to the dress that we did at the bottom. 
We're going to go to the top right where we did a linear gradient. We're going to go here where we did a radial gradient, making our subject a little bit brighter in our subject's face. We're going to go to this color range where we made the background a little bit more saturated and more green. And then here, the luminance range where we brought a little bit more exposure to the highlights. Now, keep in mind, if you want to edit these at any time, you can do that. If I go to this mask here, you can see this is the radial gradient where I made my image a little brighter. I can make this larger if I want to. So I can go in here at any time and change this. I can also go ahead and change these sliders. If I want to bring my exposure up just a little bit more and bring my highlights down, I can do that at any time. Even if I click out of the mask, keep in mind, this entire mask dialog, this is visible because I have this masks visible. So let's go ahead and just turn that masks off and we can see we're back to our basic editing. Okay, so with our basic editing, keep in mind, I can turn this eyeball off and on, okay, to see our basic editing, and I can still go back and change these settings. Now, because I'm in my basic editing, these are the settings that are going to affect my entire image, okay? So these are working, but the masks are working as well. So right now, the masks are in effect. I can't see them. All I have to do is click right back here into my masking, and here we go. All of these masks are turned on and I can see the effects of all the masks individually and then click on any one of these masks. This is the linear gradient that I put there and we can see this is the change that I made right there. So all these masks work with the rest of the adjustments that you make in Lightroom Classic. So when you've taken your image as far as you possibly can with your basic editing, but you want to edit specific parts of your image, this is where masking comes in handy. Now with our masks, there are a lot of different options. Most of what we've covered here has been with the tone, for instance, adjusting our exposure. We worked some on highlights. We worked a little bit on color and we worked a little bit on a saturation. You also have all of these other settings like point color, curve, effects, and details. We're gonna cover all that tomorrow in our advanced masking. So for today, I just wanna show you how to create different masks, basically an overview of what all these masks done and the power of masks, seeing that before and the after of what we can do with our image by creating masks in Lightroom Classic. Join us tomorrow for advanced masking where we're gonna show you how to add and subtract from the masking and some more advanced features. If you enjoyed this video, give us that big thumbs up and don't forget you can follow along with this entire series by clicking on the link right down below to sign up for 30 days of Lightroom. Thanks everyone, I'll flirt you later, bye.